In this video, I'll show you how to add pan and zoom effects to your images in Canva. It's super easy and looks really professional. Let's get started. First, let's start by adding an image. I'll pick one from the Elements tab. This one will work for our example. I'll resize it to fill the entire canvas. And if there's any extra space around the edges, I'll crop that out to make it fit perfectly. Now, if your image looks a bit low quality, it's important to enhance it before applying the zoom effect. That's because when you zoom in, the image can lose clarity. Canva has a free app to help with this. Go to the edit, scroll to the bottom, and you'll find the image upscaler. Click on that, and it will automatically enhance your image. Once it's done, click replace, and your image will be upgraded. Let's close this for now. Next, I'll duplicate the page to begin creating the zoom effect. I'll zoom out the preview to see the whole canvas clearly, then increase the size of the image so we can focus on the part we want to zoom in on. In this case, I want to zoom in on this first guy, so I'll position the image to highlight him. Now, I'd like to add the name and role of this person to the scene. I'll go to the text, add a heading, and move it to the left side. I'll type the name, make sure it's capitalized, and adjust its position a bit more to align it nicely. To work more precisely, I'll increase the preview size. Now I'll change the text color to something that fits our design. Next, go to Fonts, search for a font, apply it, and increase the font size for better visibility. Then I'll open the effects and choose the lift style. Lastly, I'll reduce the letter spacing a little to make the text more compact. Now it's time to add the roll. I'll press the R key to quickly insert a rectangle, resize it to fit below the name, and place it underneath. Then I'll type the roll of the person, make sure it's in uppercase as well, and increase the font size to about 23 pixels. For this text, I'll pick a different font that pairs well with the name above. Then I'll change the rectangle's color to something that matches the overall design. To make selecting the elements easier, I'll send the name text backward. Now I'll select both the name and the role and position them exactly where I want on the image. And that completes the design for our first frame. Now I'll duplicate this page again, adjust the image position to focus on the next person, and then move and update the text I'll repeat this process for each team member. Once all the pages are done, I'll go back and duplicate the very first page and move it to the end to loop the animation nicely. To control the timing, click on Duration and set the time to somewhere between 1 to 2 seconds. I'll enable the toggle to apply this timing to all pages at once. Now it's time to add transitions. Click on this icon between the pages. Choose the Match and Move transition. Increase the duration a bit to smooth things out, and then apply it between all the pages. Let's preview it to see how it looks. Right now it looks a bit too fast. So I'll go back to the duration, adjust it to slow it down slightly, and apply it again to all the pages. Now let's preview it again. Now it looks much better, smooth and clean. And that's how you create pan and zoom animations in Canva. Let me know in the comments what you think about this effect. And if you wanna learn how to create a morph animation in Canva, be sure to watch the next video. I'll see you there.